it's a simple message. It's, it's about action. It's about doing. Um, we know uh, what needs to be done, what the prescriptions are, whether it is through, um, through finance, whether it is through um, technical know-how. We know um, all exist. What is required is leadership, whether that is at a political level and the political will um, to make the necessary decisions um, uh, to, um, to address the crisis. Within the private sector, that is where um, it is with non-state actors where we know the needle can really move. We've seen, we'll be seeing throughout um, Climate Week examples um, of leadership, whether it is at a sub-national level, um, whether it is um, with um, specific um, businesses and, and entities, there is leadership there. But that collective core where more needs to be done, um, uh, involving um, more actors, uh, is needed more now than ever before. Well, I think, again, it's turning words into action. Um, it is clear um, across the, the, the process, certainly coming out of, um, uh, out of Glasgow, um, in terms of concluding the rules that are associated with the Paris Agreement, they exist. What is needed is that, um, is that collective, um, collective action. What I see is a process that um, that needs to evolve. It needs to move away from the theory, that rule making, and focus much more on the need for implementation. But again, that speaks to uh, the leadership that is shown um, certainly within um, the non-state um, actor space, um, where there are, um, there are some very bright um, examples. But the need, how do we how do we uh, coalesce that, um, that, that global support, collective support, um, to move this forward? Well, I think with COP28, um, one of the signature deliverables will be the global stock take, um, which outlines where we are, where we're not. Um, what would be a positive outcome uh, is how do parties, how do countries respond um, to, um, to, to those gaps? And if there is a collective um, effort, a forward-looking effort, in terms of what are the pathways that are going to carry us through between now and 2030 to get us back on track, that course correction, um, I think if there is clarity there and a, clarity, uh, and a very clear um, path forward, I think we could say that, um, that that would be one of the success factors coming out of COP28.